Yes, welcome back to Why in the Morning Entrepreneurship Tuesday. In particular, my name is Barry Moses, or it's Barry Moko Mtandao or Kijimi, and it's always a pleasure. So uh, we have a question on Facebook, and this particular question is to all the entrepreneurs out there, or the aspiring entrepreneurs, or the hustlers. So the question is, have you ever interacted with these guys who tell you you can make up to thirty to 50000 every day at the comfort of your bed? And we are getting feedback from you. Uh, some of you guys have been scammed. Some of you guys are making money. So the opinions are mixed keep them coming our way we are going to sample them at, uh, towards the end of the show but as at now uh, let's talk to sharon <coughs> owino karibu sana thank you so much all right so you are a baker yeah. and event organizer yes all right since 2017 yeah karibu sana your camera is number four uh, just give them a brief bio of yourself okay so my name is sharon Sharon Atino Wino, I am a baker, mm -hmm. I'm an event organizer, and a fashion designer, a pricing. So uh, that's what I do. I'm a home baker, I break from home, mm -hmm. and I am purely online. All right. Yeah, so my company's name is Jolly Sun Creations. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Jolly Sun Creations, and under Jolly Sun Creations, you have the pastry wing, the bakery wing. Yeah. Uh, you have the events wing, and uh, you have what else? Catering. Catering. Yeah. Catering in general. Yes. All right. So this might be under catering, but... Yeah. It's under bakery, actually. All right. Yeah. So I love this so much. Uh, mm -hmm. All right. So you came up with this idea in 2017. Yeah. You're based in Nairobi. Yes. Your business model is uh, online and you do your stuff from home. Yes. All right. 2017. Let me take you back to 2017. Okay. Uh, what uh, made you want to get into this line of business? So I've always loved baking mm -hmm. since I was young. My mm -hmm. mom was a baker. Uh -huh. My mom loved cooking so much. So I was always in the kitchen with her. Mm -hmm. And um, I think the passion grew. But mm -hmm. with time, you know, when we're in school, you're, you're told about uh, all these other careers, mm -hmm. piloting, engineering. Mm -hmm. and doctor. So I wanted to be a doctor. Mm -hmm. Every, like everybody else. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. And so um, after high school, I, I just thought, you know, I just can't stay home. Mm -hmm. And um, as I wait to go to uni, mm -hmm. which I didn't make it to uni, uh -huh. specifically after high school. Uh -huh. So in 2017, uh -huh. when I lost my parents, mm -hmm. I... Both of them? Yes. My mom, I lost my mom in June uh -huh. and my dad in August. Mm -hmm. So it was a span of a month. Mm -hmm. So now... So you came from one burial... And then went back for another burial yes. shortly after. Yes. All right. So after that, I I took a time for myself mm -hmm. and just thought I I cannot remain there. I mm -hmm. need to do something. I need to. You were in Nairobi myself. in yeah. 2017. Yes. All right. I'm guessing your parents were providing for you back then. Yeah. How did you like survive after? Um. My brother, my mm -hmm. brother was always there for me and my sister. So mm -hmm. we are only three and I'm mm -hmm. the last born. So mm -hmm. of course I got the privilege of being provided for, for mm -hmm. a while before mm -hmm. now I started baking officially, mm -hmm. which was in 2018 actually, mm -hmm. uh, uh, one year bef after. One year after? Yes. All right, so the name of the company is? Uh, Jolly Sun Creations. Jolly Sun Creations. Yes. So Joe is uh, dedicated to the dad. Yeah. Uh, Lee, Lee is Lillian is for my mom. Lillian for mom. Yeah. And, and son is just? Sharon. Sharon. I just shortened it. Sharon Oweno is your name. Yes. So uh, Sharon in Lua is Saron, yeah? No, that's, really <laughs> that's how that's they pronounce really it, but yeah. All right. Anyway, so, uh, so far, how do you manage to get your clients? Um, Being a, a home baker and having your business online. My friends, my friends have supported me mm -hmm. so much, so, so much, and my family. So I do face-to-face -face marketing mm -hmm. and Facebook because I have quite so many friends on Facebook. Quite a number of friends yes. on Facebook. Yes. All right, and then recommendations from, from, from the people yeah. you're big for as well. Yeah. All right, so how do you determine the, the, the pricing of the cake? Do you determine it from the profile picture of the client? Or, or how, what is the process of de determining the price of a particular cake? First or, of all, you have to look for ingredients. Mm -hmm. you, you cannot... Um, 
you cannot price one flavored cake like a vanilla cake mm -hmm. with a tiramisu cake because mm -hmm. one takes more ingredients than the other. Mm -hmm. So you have to determine uh, the process of making it. The process of making the cake. The so the ingredients, number one, Yeah. that is a determinant yes. of the price. Yeah. Uh -huh. The process, uh -huh. uh, the design, uh -huh. because different cakes have different design. You have mm -hmm. to include your labor, the mm -hmm. time that you've used. Mm -hmm. And um, ingredients, it, time, labor, equipment, mm -hmm. equipment, number four, electricity, water, water, all that has to be included to get a specific price for a specific for cake. For a specific cake. Yes. All right. What is the most popular cake among among us Kenyans? Um, I think it's Let's Black say for Forest. Black Forest is the <laughs> is the most famous yes, cake among yes, Kenyans. Yes. All right. Have you come to a conclusion why Kenyans could be loving this cake so much? Because of the soft texture of it uh -huh. the spongy texture no one loves a a, a compact cake bulky so cake. yeah oh, no. so it's uh -huh. not that feeling and uh -huh. you can take it in large amounts uh -huh. so you can go on and on and on yeah. with it yeah so all right so uh all. what is the difference between a good cake and just an okay cake what 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 is because sometimes you might taste a cake and uh you're not a baker but you can tell this is not as good as that one what is the difference mm -hmm. Uh, I think for uh, most of, especially supermarket cakes or mm -hmm. cakes that are sold in some cake shops uh, in town mm -hmm. or somewhere else. Mm -hmm. Not freshly baked. Yeah, yeah, they are not freshly baked and they use preservatives. That's mm -hmm. why it has that funny taste. Mm -hmm. Because being a home baker, I, I bake with orders, mm -hmm. per order. Mm -hmm. So I get an order and I freshly bake it a few hours or <coughs> a day before. Mm -hmm. it deliver it so it has that just fine fine mm -hmm. taste but for for those cakes that you feel yeah there's something taste, about it mm -hmm. mostly are preservatives the preservatives yes. uh, have a lot uh, to contribute towards uh, the weird taste we have feedback coming yeah. but before we sample the feedback i'd like to know uh, what are some of the offers you have for people during this uh, august holiday Ah, oh, first of all, today is my birthday. Uh, happy birthday! So we are going to be you're going yes. to be cutting the cake yeah. in this particular yeah. case. Uh -huh. So it, for every order, I'm doing for Black Forest, uh -huh. Red Velvet, and White Forest at fifteen hundred per kg uh -huh. instead of two thousand. Instead of two thousand. Yes. So that's an offer for the August August holiday, yes. and in the spirit of celebrating your birthday yeah. as well. How can these people get to interact with you online? Um, I'm Camera on, is number four. I'm on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Uh, Jolie Sun Creations, and um, yeah, I'm on Facebook right now mm -hmm. specifically. All right, yeah. uh, so as an event organizer, uh, or the phone number maybe, the uh, business line, not okay. the personal one. Uh -huh. uh, my business line is 0737 mm -hmm. 205747. Mm -hmm. uh, Sharon, all right, Sharon, thank you very much for that one. So, uh, during uh, this period. Uh, of the holidays, business is better, I'm guessing. Yeah, uh. quite better. Uh, business yeah. is much better yes. during business. All right, so as an event organizer, as a baker, uh, so the question is, say I have a birthday. Uh, can I give you the budget and you organize everything for me? Yes. That yes, is I a possibility. That. Yeah. Right. It's quite possible. Uh -huh. And it comes at a cheaper rate rather than doing just the event without the cake. Uh -huh. Like there is a package with an offer with uh -huh. it. So when I have an event, instead of getting a cake from Sharon uh, to summarize the event yeah. uh, for me, I'd rather get Sharon to do the whole event the for whole me. The whole event. And then I might just get the cake free. Yes. All right. Thank you very much, Sharon, <laughs> for coming through to Y in the morning. Yeah. Uh, and our question of the day was these guys who tell people about making thirty to fifty thousand a day online. Have you ever interacted with some of these people? Yes, I uh -huh. remember a certain company, especially after Form Four. You know, you just want to do something. Mm -hmm. you, you just, just want to earn money. Yes. You just uh -huh. yeah. You just want to get into the world and get uh -huh. your cash. But fortunately, uh -huh. a month after I left Form Four, uh -huh. I got a job. Uh -huh. I worked with Java for two years. Uh -huh. Yeah, so I didn't interact with those people for quite a while, but uh -huh. in that one month, there were yes. those options. And there were those options. Yes. All right, what are some of the jobs you've had people are doing from home and are making some good money? Do you have some friends who work from home? 
Yes. Uh -huh. What are some of these jobs that they do? Because we just try to share ideas on this particular show, on this particular day, uh, so people can just be productive and progressive. I have a friend. Her name is uh, Irene. She's a fashion designer. She just have her own uh -huh. machine at mm -hmm. her own place she's doing her thing and then mm -hmm. she's taking photos and just posting mm -hmm. you don't have to like have a whole you know mm -hmm. uh specific location like uh -huh. that you're paying rent uh -huh. like you can just work from home and uh -huh. save that money for uh -huh. something else you're yeah, a testimony so, as well yes you're a home baker a home you bake baker. for home and yes. you deliver yeah. your last remarks to the viewers the guys who are viewing you right now uh, your potential customers and just people in general will be complaining about how there are no jobs out there for them i think uh it's first of all believing in yourself mm -hmm. we cannot just as young people we cannot sit mm -hmm. and wait for the big people to employ us we have potential in mm -hmm. us so if you believe in yourself mm -hmm. you're able to do more than you can imagine so just believe in yourself and be consistent and trust god throughout the process you will get to where you want to be so yeah thank you very much sharon for coming mm -hmm. and thank you very much for the cake we are going to be sharing this with you yes. as we play a song i hope it's a birthday song for sharon uh, but let's listen to one song then we'll be back to sample more of your feedback as we wrap entrepreneurship tuesday up. Let's enjoy. Mm -hmm. yeah.